Hi Floss Tube, it's Bernie here hooking and stitching. Today is Tuesday the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day to all my uh, American subscribers. Um, July the 4th doesn't mean no full ups over here, but I know it does over there. So I hope you're celebrating and having a good time. Um, I'm here for a bit of an update. I uh, didn't expect to be back this soon and you probably didn't expect to see me back this soon. Um, but by a happy coincidence, it's um, my day off and I'm home alone and I did have some plans but they've been cancelled so I thought why not um, like do a bit of a catch up because I'd normally try and film at the end of the month um, and then yeah June, <laughs> the end of May ended up near the end of June <laughs> so now it's the beginning of July so if I catch up now and show you what I've been doing for the past sort of couple of weeks since my last video and then I can do another update at the end of July and I'm kind of back on track then. Does that make sense? So I haven't got an awful lot to show you. Um, I think there's sort of five projects. I do have a little bit of haul. Haven't done any crochet, um, not in the last couple of weeks. Um, I've got uh, my next accounting exam in, oh gosh, six days. <laughs> it's on the 10th, it's on Monday the 10th. And um, so I've been doing a lot of studying towards that. So I haven't done as much crochet. And likewise tonight uh, my daughter's at pony club and me and my son have like an hour to kill and i would normally sort of sit and crochet but because i've got an exam coming up i've got my textbooks and stuff in my bag and we will go and sit in the local pub and i'll study while he plays on his, his games on his phone <laughs> eating chips that's what he likes to do i do apologize if there's a bit of a wobble um i mount my camera on a chair and um, Bailey's come and sat on said chair. He's just the other side of you <laughs> and he's licking himself. So it's shaking the camera. Bailey, do you mind? Um, and I would assume Gizmo will put in an appearance at some point soon. He's been running me ragged this morning. I've been trying to clean up because he causes more mess than the previous three did put together. Uh, there's litter everywhere at least twice a day. Um, he just loves to spread it around you know get these, if you've ever seen i'm sure there's like a, a cartoon that does the rounds on facebook where they're like kittens at kitty school and the teachers go no too neat kick it everywhere you know talking about the litter tray he a plus to that class because he is absolutely brilliant at kicking litter out of the litter tray and all over the place in fact the other morning i came downstairs and found that the litter tray which lives in a cupboard um i've got a special litter tray cupboard uh, one of the litter trays lives in there and he'd opened the doors to said cupboard and knocked the litter tray completely out on its side and the litter luckily the, there was just one wee in there <laughs> and it i use clumping litter so it's all clumped together but litter was just all over my floor oh god <laughs> you're watching me aren't you you've gone and sat he's gone and sat up on the cat tree but i think he'll probably be down in a minute so you're probably wondering what i'm doing um just sort of talking because he knows there's nobody else in the house no i'm not coming not you want me to i'll come over when you don't want me to that's it right so shall we crack on then um other than that i don't yeah i don't think there's anything major left to tell you at the moment um not an awful lot's happened in the last couple of weeks so uh, yeah i will get straight on and we'll keep this short and sweet shall we then i've got more time to do ironing <laughs> right so first project in my hummingbird project bag is a nice summery project i've been working on summer blooms by little dove designs um you can get this either in her etsy shop i do also think she's got a website and it was in a few issues of well i say it there's there's four designs um there's obviously spring summer autumn and winter um and um, she did have them released periodically in Cross Stitching Magazine a few years ago, which is where I actually stitched the first one from. First one I ever stitched was the autumn one. I've finished spring, that's currently hanging in my kitchen, and I've just got summer and winter to do, and they are both whips. So this is summer blooms. I love this one. It's so pretty. I do like seasonal things. I do apologise. I can see the camera shaking, and I can't sort of kicking him off, and he'll just jump back up again. So I'm stitching this one on a 28 count light blue even weave. I'll pop in a picture of what it looked like last time you guys saw it. And 
here it is now. Bailey, will you please stop licking yourself? So I finished that, it's not totally finished, but that middle layer where it says summer blooms and put in June, July and August. And then I'm moving down to the bottom. And then there's just the border and the bottom to do. Ah, so there we go. Sorry, he's just jumped off the chair. That was what that shake was. Thanks, Bailey. Anyway, so yeah, really enjoying this. I love the colours. It really does feel summery. I love those ice creams. My kids love those ice creams as well. There's French knots in those ice creams. <laughs> and yeah, that's where we are at with that one. So not too much further to go. I am using Pattern Keeper to stitch this one as well because um, even though I had the magazine, I decided I wanted to do it digitally. So I ordered the PDF from it's Faye at Little Dove. And um, yeah, it's compatible with Pattern Keeper. So win-win. Pop those down there out of the way. Right, next is my Modern Folk Embroidery Fruits of Plenty Sal. This was the 2021 yearly sal that Modern Folk Embroidery did. Um, and it gave you the option to do it in either one or two colours. I'm doing it in two as, um, as charted. Stitching this on 25 count cream even weave. Pop in a picture of what it looked like last time you guys saw it. And here it is now. So I've been cracking on with that second. I won't say hexagon. It's Yeah, it is a hexagon, isn't it? It's not an octagon. Octagon's for eight sides. This is six sides, so it is a hexagon. So yeah, I've been moving on with that second hexagon and um, filling it all in. And there's still a piece of thread attached. I don't know quite why ooh, Why I stopped mid-thread, but I did. <laughs> Must have been a reason for it. But um, yeah, thoroughly enjoying stitching on this. And the stitches are so toe teeny tiny on 25 count. I didn't want it to be massive. I have seen this finished on like 32 count and it's massive. <laughs> So I wanted it mine to be a bit smaller and I'm really happy with um, the size of this. I quite like working on 25 count. 28 is a little small. I can do it, but it's a bit small. But um, 25 count is nice uh, for like one over one stitching. Um, I'm stitching this in my chosen colours, which are DMC 3836 and 34, which is the dark colour. So that's 34 and 3836. And against this, I think against this cream fabric, it works quite nicely. I'm trying to get a good, they're not coming out as bright. Not good lighting. It's a bit dull today. It was sunny earlier, but it, it's clouded over. I don't think we're expecting any rain. I hope not because I've put my washing on the line. But um, yeah, it has gone a bit cloudy and it's not as warm as it has been. We were having some really warm weather here a few weeks ago and it's um it's cooled quite a bit down again in fact the other day we were at um, a show with the horses on sunday it was positively cold and we had jackets on and i was shivering <laughs> and the wind was howling and it was it was bizarre because the two weeks before that it had been so hot that we were struggling to move and you know we were dousing the horses with water and Weather needs to make up its mind. Apparently we did have the hottest June on record um, this last June, obviously, and now we're in July, but July seems to be quite cool so far. But I'm sure it will pick up. <laughs> right, so next thing I worked on, these aren't actually in any particular order. I've just sort of taken them out of the drawer and popped them down. Next one is Prairie Schooler Harvest Time, and I'm working on this one at the top. So. I don't know if I will stitch the other two. They are quite cute, but we don't celebrate Thanksgiving here in the UK. And I'm not a big Halloween stitcher, so I don't know if I'll stitch those two. But I really liked... Oh, come on, focus. Don't focus on me, focus on this. I really liked the um, the autumn scene with the horse pulling the carriage. And I love the colours. Autumn's my favourite season. I say it every time. And I absolutely love the colours in autumn, the... The reds and oranges and browns and yellows and 
those sort of things. So I'm stitching this on 18 count cream Ada. I'll pop in a picture of what it looked like last time you guys saw it. And here it is now. Let's just fold this in so I can actually get my face in. <laughs> so I moved up and went across. So I think I've done those houses before, but I moved over and did these house, uh, houses. Trees! They're not houses, they're trees. I've done those trees. So I moved over, I've done these trees, that house, these trees, and then this is a roof. And I've made a start on that roof. And um, still absolutely adoring this. It's really nice. Easy to stitch. It is a paper copy, which isn't my favourite. But um, it's it's doable. <laughs> and I'm finding I don't really need to highlight it. It's an easy enough chart that you can just sort of follow it without having to... Because it's solid stitching. If it was confetti, then I'd have to highlight the stitches I've done. Otherwise, you just can't tell where you are. But... Um, yeah, really looking sweet that one. I do like that one. And I am I'm back stitching as I go as well. So you can see that I've back stitched around the windows and the, the cross at the top of the church. So yeah, enjoying stitching on that one. It's going well. The colours. Gosh, I feel like we're whizzing through today. Oh, that funny noise was because Bailey is wearing a cone. Um, although you still seem to be managing to lick yourself a bit, aren't you? He's um, been over-grooming and chewing his inner thighs and he's made himself quite sore. Um, so I spoke to my, my best friend, she's our vet nurse, and as I think I know what's caused it, she says, well, it could be one of two things. She says, it's either an allergy or stress. And she says, and seeing as he's 10 years old and he hasn't moved and nothing's changed, like that he's not suddenly got allergic no he hasn't has he it's stress it's because we've had a new kitten in the house the bailey's gone and chewed himself because we've got gizmo now so he's wearing a cone at the moment although i'm not convinced it's doing a good enough job looking at him now because he's he's giving himself a wash and you're not supposed to be able to do that with the cone on your head are you come here stop licking <laughs> Right, next, I'm working on this one. So this is Final Fantasy VII Cast, and it's by Servo Stitches on um, Etsy. It says up here this is sold out, but I, I, I don't know why it's a digital pattern. I'm sure if you go on there or request, if you really wanted to stitch this one, then you'd be able to get it. It's a full coverage piece. So even the blank space. Bailey, don't do that! Oh, sorry. <laughs> he's he's attacking one of my patterns. Don't. Oh, now oh, we're really fed up because we've been told off now. Anyway, as I was saying, it's fully it's uh, full coverage. Even these white areas are stitched. Um, I did have the option to not do them, but I decided I would. And I quite like this because um, each square is like its own little finish. So it's like nine new starts and nine finishes, which is quite, quite fun. Um, so I'll show you where I was last time. I was working on Eris. So there's this girl down here. And I'm pleased to say that I finished her. So here it is now. It is very pixelated, but so is the game. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mentioned last time I'm actually playing the game at the moment because it was a game I played when I was a teenager and my husband bought it me for my birthday on the Nintendo Switch. So I've been playing it on the Switch and it is a pixelated game. It's not like modern games. So if you're up close, it looks really bizarre and blocky, but from a distance, it doesn't look too bad at all. So quite happy with that. And then um, I'll be moving on to this square here, which is Red 13. That's his name. Um, my husband's challenged me to finish this by Christmas because it's for my brother. My brother doesn't know about it. And my husband says, yeah, you can get that finished for Christmas. I'm like, it's taking me about a month per square and I've got six squares left to do. And we're in July. That's, you know, I'm cutting it fine because it needs to be done before Christmas. 
And it's, yeah, you can do that, you can do that. So now I'm feeling a bit of pressure to get it done. And part of me thinks, no, I'll do it at my own pace. And part of me thinks, it would be nice to have it done for Christmas. <laughs> I can give it him for Christmas. So I don't know yet. If you see me rocketing on with this one, then <laughs> yes, I'm trying to do it for Christmas. But um, yeah, I am. I'm pleased with that one. I, I, I really enjoy it. This is um, 28 count light blue uh, even weave. I think it's probably the same fabric that I've got summer blooms on, actually. And uh, yeah, I made the mistake, I mentioned this before, that thinking that it was a 32 count and that this fabric would be plenty big enough and it's not. So I'm going to take some fabric from the bottom because I don't need all that and add it to the side. It was suggested and I have looked into just doing two by two but because there's nine characters that's just not going to work and then I, I even did look to see if there was something else I could put in you know say I did do two, two and so there'd be an extra square down at the bottom for number 10. Um, would in fact, I don't even know if it would fit 10 down there I could get eight on it I don't think I could get 10 actually looking at that but even if I did have an, a tenth, what would I put in there? And I'd say I did look around to see if I could find a pattern because there's these bird-like creatures that feature really quite prominently in the game and you can often pick up cross-stitch charts of these birds. But trying to get it to fit in the square and look right as part of the pattern? No, I'm going to stick with my plan of cut the fabric and sew it on the side and then when I come to finish it, I'll be finishing it close enough to the stitching that you won't even know there's a join. So that's Final Fantasy cast, Final Fantasy 7 cast. So just one more. And I was rocketing through and I don't know whether I'm going to carry on and do a bit more work on this today or something else, which I'll talk about in a minute. But um, this is, I didn't really cover a picture, this is Unicorn Spring by um, Heaven and Earth Designs. And... Um, I will, I'll have put a bit of picture of where it was last time and here it is now. So I'm doing the Royal Rose method on this one and I'd finished all the way across last time I worked on it. So it started over here and you can see I've done sort of 600 stitches down at the bottom here. And then these are my part threads for when I move down and these are my part threads for when I carry on along here. So this one is coming along nicely. My daughter was thrilled to see me working on it. That is the top there. Um, and yeah, but this is it's just so thick and confetti heavy. That is two or th I think it's two days work, those 600 stitches. But um, yeah, there's a lot of colours in there and it's it's hard going. It's really thick. I mean, look at the back. Can you see how thick the back is there? And then this is the area I've been working on here. It's just so thick and bumpy. So this is 28 count easy count fabric and I'm doing it two over one tent uh, which is half cross stitch um, so I mean I don't even know if you can tell by you probably tell if I show you like a sting single stitches at the bottom there it's just one diagonal stitch but it because they're small it works perfectly fine on this I mean look at it back there that looks you wouldn't know those weren't full crosses, would you? And I absolutely love this piece, but it is hard going. <laughs> it's so confetti heavy. And the whole chart is, there's no block stitching really. Um, you know, a lot of my heaven and earth, you'll find sort of a group of 600 of all one colour. Not on this, nowhere on this. It's all confetti. There is no 100 square block that's one colour. What's up? being chirruped at so anyway that's that one so that's all the whips i've worked on see told you it'd be quick uh, it's only been a couple of weeks though so five's not too bad considering i'm also say studying and i've got children i've got a job i've got cats i've got horses so <laughs> it's plenty for me to be doing as well as a house to keep i've got yeah i've been doing housework all morning so a uh, little bit of haul, just a little bit of haul. So I bought a couple of needle minders for myself off Etsy. Um, we are big, uh, the Office fans. Now that's the American Office. I, I actually really don't like the English version of the Office. I find it really cringy. I don't like Ricky Gervais <laughs> as an actor. I think he's lovely as a person because he is a um, very animal activist. Um, and um, he, he shares a lot of the same values that I do. 
but as an actor I don't like him especially not not in the office but the American version of the office I really do enjoy and me and my husband have watched it through quite a few times so um, I was just browsing on Etsy and I came across this needle binder and it's by Needle Say More and um, if you if you've watched the office you'll know what this is it says um, this man is a pervert if seen please contact white shroot and it comes from the episode where one of the ladies phyllis was um flashed in the car park and she came into the office all really worried and um dwight who plays the character that um yeah he's hilarious he feels a, he's a bit law enforcement sometimes he took it upon himself to conduct an investigation into who could have been the flasher and they got one of the other women to do like a face fit <laughs> it looks just like him <laughs> it's just so funny so yeah that's my office based needle minder and then my husband didn't know this one and i was quite surprised because i thought he would and because it meant something to me so it's by the same company by needle say more and it's the handbook for the recently deceased and it's from um beetlejuice the original beetlejuice which um, I I found quite scary when I was young. Um, not now, obviously. But um, yeah, this is the book that they give people that have just died <laughs> and when they're in the afterlife. And it explains about how to um, do things and how to haunt and all that sort of thing, which is, is quite funny. But yeah, I liked that when I saw it. And it's a nice, good size needle minder. It's a big one. Um, as you can see, if I show you know, the size of my hand, it's not a little tiny one it's yeah it's a decent size that because i am terrible for flicking needles off needle minders if they're a bit small whereas this one should hold the whole needle and it should actually be quite difficult to pick it off she says so a couple of new needle binders there off etsy say so needle say more what lovely cards these and these came so beautifully wrapped as well um in gorgeous purple tissue paper with um, a sticker holding it together and yeah i was impressed with how they were i will be looking at more of hers so then, it's going to give you a clue as to what else I bought. I have a piece of fabric, a large piece of fabric, and it's easy count, and it's 25 count. What could I possibly be doing on that? Well, Heaven and Earth Designs had a sale again, didn't they? A 50% off sale. I don't know what the, the reason was for it, to be honest. Is it your Mother's Day over in the States? I can't remember. But there's a, a chart I've had my eye on for a while. And for some reason I kept just not buying it. And then my husband sort of joked about how many cats we've got now. They're all rag dolls. And said it's a shame there isn't a chart that's got all different rag dolls on it. So there is a chart with all different rag dolls on it. And I've had my eye on it for a while. <laughs> so I, I showed him. And it just so happens the sale was on at the same time as that this is the chart that I'm talking about. And he said, well, why don't you get it? So I did. Now, you know what a big Raina Garnashova fan I am. I bought this one. <laughs> so this is Ragdoll Eden. And I absolutely, I've known this, a new Ragdoll Eden before I realised it was a chart in Heaven and Earth Designs. I know the artwork. And um, it's just gorgeous i love it there are so many different rag dolls on there so you've got a um, a blue bicolor here a seal mitted a seal bicolor you've got a blue mitted here with kittens another blue mitted up there a seal color point a couple of seal color point kittens up here and then you've got a red although i don't know yeah he's gonna be a red point isn't he yes which is what gizmo is so we've got Bailey here, he's a seal bicolour. Mitzi, I think that's Mitzi. Um, blue mitted. Gizmo's over here, and then we'll have to cheat a little bit. Darcy doesn't have mitted paws, but she is a blue um, colour point, so she does look a bit like that. And then all these kittens in there. I just think oh, it's, it's gorgeous. How many cats are there in total on there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cats! <laughs> on one and i must admit i do like the new ones by arena where it's like um how do you describe it or like a patchwork not patchwork cats but it's a patchwork of her artworks so there's like there's a christmasy one and there's a botanical one and i do really like those as well and i can see me starting them in the future as well i haven't bought them 
but I do like them because you get so many cats in one piece. So I think I'm going to start this today <laughs> because the fabric came yesterday and I've got all the colours because I have completed my DMC collection. I had um, I got paid the end of last week to put my final order into Lakeside Needlecraft for all the colours that I hadn't got. And there's still two I'm missing actually, so I haven't totally got a full set. <laughs> I've gone through and go, why haven't I got 523? But I've virtually got a whole so I've got all my DMC bobbins, my um sorry, my pip and chip bobbins with all the DMC, and I've got a full set virtually. So um <laughs> if you can hear that noise, that's Gizmo playing. Um but yeah, I'm gonna start this later. Because I love the colours in it as well, of the, the sky. And it's interesting all over, isn't it? I think the only boring bit is probably going to be this top corner here with the tree. But even that's not boring, is it? So, yep, yeah, start that in a bit. So, I think that's about it. Um, come on, you've got to come up. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. He's ignoring me. He's a Velcro cat. He's done nothing but follow me around all day. But I've tried to eat my breakfast, he's in my face and I'm having to push him off and then I want him to come to me now and he's too busy playing. Gizmo! <laughs> Just a second, let's come here. <laughs> What's this? Come here. Come here. So, here he is. Say hi, Giz. Who's that? Are you? Ooh. You got a new ball off Grandad yesterday, didn't you? And it's all sparkly and it's got ribbons. <laughs> yes, so there's my little fluff bum. Don't you start on that. You are adorable, aren't you? Absolute menace. And he keeps escaping, don't you? Every time we open the front door, he makes a run for it. And we've had to retrieve him from under a car. Our cars, luckily, parked cars several times this past couple of weeks. So now we're getting wise to you, aren't we? And uh, we know we cannot trust you at all. So we shut him in another room when we open the front door. Don't we? And when I come in from work and things, I have to open the door and then be there to catch him. Well, they're usually asleep when I come home from work, aren't you? What's this? <laughs> Do you want them? Here you go. There's Bailey with his cone head. Look. Bailey! Bailey! Right, uh, I think I shall finish it there then. Um, I'm planning on being back at the end of July, I would think. Um, the very last week of July is Pony Club Camp. So um, it'll probably be the week after that. It's the, the first week of the kids' school holidays. It's Pony Club Camp, where me and Aria will be um, out there <laughs> for three days of camp, which will be fun. Uh, we're not actually camping. We do come home because <laughs> it's not far away. She's not old enough to actually camp yet. I think they have to be 11 before they can camp, and she's only eight. So uh, a few more years, and I can turf her off for the week. <laughs> But um, yeah, it'll probably be the week after that when I can come back. But obviously the kids will be home from school that week, as they will be for the following video as well, I would think. So it might be one that I have to film in the evening upstairs. We'll see. But um, other than that, I hope you're enjoying everything you're stitching at the moment. Um, if I follow you on FlossTube, I'm trying desperately to catch up. I'm sorry. I've just been so busy. I haven't been watching TV. Uh, when I say watching TV, that's when I put FlossTube on. I put it on our TV to watch it while I'm stitching and things. But um, even though I've been managing to cross stitch, I've, I think my husband's had like control of the TV, so I've just sort of stuck my head in my cross stitch rather than watching anything. Um, but yeah, I will be catching up with you all soon. Um, please bear with. <laughs> I have been trying to comment on the comments as well that where you've left me from my last video. I am grateful for those. Thank you. So he's been such a thug. He's just thrown his spiral ball toy across the floor. I keep thinking it's the kids turning it upside down. He's just done it. <laughs> right, I'm going. So I should go and get this edited and then I can get it uploaded later. So I shall take care. Um, you should all take care. 
and I'll speak to you all at the end of the month. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.